Dr. Robert McLaughlin is superintendent of a tiny school district in Union Gap in central Washington. But the job he took on was enormous there. A high poverty rate and low test scores put students at a great disadvantage when they moved on to the area's high schools. And Bob was determined to change that. He extended the school year, started athletic programs, and added after-school enrichment activities for both students and parents. He purchased innovative reading programs and set up computer labs. And he's always there for both the teachers and students who affectionately call him Dr. Bob. Which one knows is the best leaf? Well, the kids love him. Hi, Dr. Bob. Hi, guys. He's a doer. He's tireless. One of you has to run down to the office and get I'll a ream of paper. And sets a standard for being involved and looking for solutions for the whole staff. I love my job. So I have the opportunity of being the superintendent, but also the athletic director. Pass the ball, Ivan! I'm also the technology coordinator. They're called database administrators. And people have even seen me sweeping floors here, but they accept me for whatever I do. His creed, basically, that he lives by is that kids come first. The winter was passing by quickly. I think the one thing that he's done here more than others is to say every child deserves the right to be able to read. Be sure your joke matches your audience. It's audience. An audience. Well, reading was the key to the whole school. If you can't read, you're not going to be successful in math because of the, the problem solving and reading the story problems. Uh, you're not going to be a good writer if you can't read because those two are tied together. Uh, you're not going to be good in social studies or science if you can't read. And so the, the key thing, and the staff all knew this, the key was reading. Sometimes, boys and girls, that Y at the end of a word acts like a vowel, and it's going to say the I sound or the E sound. We uh, have students key, who are just five. really struggling in their academic areas. Good. And so yeah, we've I'm hired teachers after high. school, and they help those students with those individual areas of help that it's kind of a prescription sometimes it's written from the classroom teacher this student needs help in this area I want you to feel what's in the bag okay I know. I don't and know. take out one thing but when you take it out I want you to close your eyes okay. and pull it out and feel it and then when you think you know what it is tell me what it is mm -hmm. in English besides the uh, what we do during the daytime for the ESL students we have an after-school program uh, for those students I think it's mainly vocabulary. Sure? It's yes. just English vocabulary, okay. and it, it's paying off. It's, it's one of the reasons we can transition the students so fast. Erica? Raise your hand if you know what it is. Juan. Onion? It's yeah. very open to change. You can show him the research. You don't have to beg and talk for five years to get to do something new and different. You can do it right away. Let's make a rhyming story. There's no school district around that's on the cutting edge more in technology than Little Union Gap here. People say, well, why is that necessary? Technology starts at that age in the world we live in today. Our kindergarten students are on computers and learning how to read. They love technology and, and we're very high on it. Your turn is finished. You've done a great job. He has a lot of respect for the kids and a lot of love for the kids. Um, and he tries so hard. You know, he works really hard. Bye. Bye. How many people <clears throat> could work in a profession for 34 years and be able to make the statement, if I had my life to do all over again, I would do the same thing? I've pretty much seen it all in the field of education. As a high school electronics teacher, a high school vice principal, the director of a technical high school in eastern Washington, principal of Davis High School in Yakima, and superintendent of a small K-8 district with the little ones that hug your legs. Washington State, through our reform movement, is becoming one of the leaders in our nation. And that is happening because of what is happening in our classrooms in our state. To be part of this prestigious group is a real honor and thrill for me. To be chosen as a Golden Apple recipient, I will treasure my heart for all of my life. Thank you.